by Nana T. Newman, illustrated by Georgie Burkett. Happy birthday, said Ben's granny as she handed him a present. Ben opened it. It was a book. He looked at the book for a long, long time. He wasn't quite sure what to do with it. I know, Ben thought. I'll use it to stand on so that I can reach all the things I'm not allowed to touch. So he did, but everything fell on top of him. I know, Ben thought, I'll sit on it when I watch TV. So he did, but it wasn't very comfortable. So he went back to the sofa. I know, Ben thought, I'll use it to make a tunnel for my car's drive under. So he did, but the cars got stuck in the middle. Beep, beep, vroom, vroom, beep, beep. So it wasn't much fun. I know, Ben thought, I could use it as a pillow. I could lie in the garden and watch the sky. So he did, but it was much too hard and it hurt his head. I know, Ben thought, I'll use it to make a nice house for my hamster. So he did, but Squeaky just thought it was silly and ran back to his cage. I know, Ben thought, I could make it fly like a bird. So he went to the top of the stairs and gently dropped it down, but it fell with a thud and scared Elfie. What have you got there? asked his sister Lulu. A book, said Ben, but I don't know what to do with it. Books are meant to be read, said Lulu. Would you like me to show you how? Yes, please, said Ben. So they sat together and Lulu read the words while Ben looked at the pictures. That was great, said Ben when they got to the end of the story. That night, Ben looked at his book again. He knew some of the words and they told a story. Do you know, said Ben to Elfie as he snuggled down to sleep, I know now that the best thing to do with the book is to read it. The end.